SOLIDWORKS can help you in school. Are you creating models that you want to maintain your design intent if the dimensions are changed? Using equations can help make sure that this will happen. This tutorial shows the basics of using equations in a model. Please note that SOLIDWORKS 2012, which is used in this tutorial, has a different equation manager than previous versions. To add equations, open a part, go under Tools, and then select Equations. In the window that opens, there are three buttons in the upper left of the window. The first button allows you to edit the three types of equations. Similar to the first button, the middle button has the global variables, any feature suppression equations, but also has all the dimensions that are in the model. This view is useful when creating relationships between dimensions and variables, as well as renaming dimensions. The last button shows all of the equations created in the order that they will be solved. This is an important thing to consider when using variables that are defined by other variables. Global variables can be used in a variety of ways in a model such as creating values that can be linked to dimensions. These can be defined by using other variables, file properties, dimensions in a model, or even dimensions that are just measured from the model. An equation will be created that links the depth of the center hole to the height of the middle cylinder. To do this, click the middle cylindrical face on the model. This will show the dimensions for that cut. Click Add Equation and select the dimension that correlates to the depth of the hole. In the Value slash Equations box, an equation sign appears. To display the height of the center cylinder, double click the main part of the model and select the height dimension. Finish off the equation by subtracting one from the height. This will keep the design intent of the model by making sure that the center hole does not go all the way through the model. By pressing enter, the equation will be solved. Another option in the equations box is to create a feature suppression equation. This allows you to suppress or unsuppress a feature based on other dimensions or relations. For this model, a feature suppression equation will be created so that if the diameter of the center cylinder is less than an inch, the center hole will be suppressed. To start, click Add Feature Suppression and then select the Cut Extrude 1 from the Feature Manager. In the Value Slash Equations box, go under the Functions in the drop-down that appears and select If with the two parentheses. Now double-click the model and choose the diameter of the center cylinder. Add a less than symbol followed by a 1 and a comma. Next, select Suppress from the drop-down under the Global Variables. Add another comma, then select Unsuppress. Whatever is after the first comma will happen if the expression is true, and what is after the second comma is what will happen if the expression is false. Currently, this evaluates to unsuppressed, which is the case that we would expect. In the dimension view, names of already existing dimensions can be changed and they will automatically update throughout the model. Click OK in the equations window. We can now verify that the equations work. Change the height of the center cylinder and rebuild the model. The depth of the center cut has now been updated to be an inch less than the cylinder's height. Finally, change the center cylinder's diameter to a value under an inch. Once the model is rebuilt, the middle hole becomes suppressed. I hope this will inspire you to use equations in your model that will keep your design intent and make your models more robust.